Colin, I'd like to thank you for joining us today and, and kind of helping us understand the uh, importance, the utility as a tool that the thermal imaging camera gives to fire departments across the country, but especially here in Knox County today. The first question I have is, is what is a thermal imaging camera? Colin, I would love to talk about the thermal imaging camera or the TIC as it's commonly called. It's one of my favorite tools on the fire apparatus. And what it does is it captures a spectrum of light that thermal imaging or infrared, and then through a processor, takes that heat source and puts it on a temperature scale. So that way we can see cold things and hot things inside the fire environment. And, and why exactly is it that the fire service uses the tick? Well, first and foremost, that we use the tick to be able to see that infrared spectrum of light where heat lives. When we're able to see the heat through dense smoke, through the dark of night, even through walls, we'll be able to spot the fire that much quicker, even from the outside of the structure, whether it be a house or a business. And most of all, and most importantly, as it is our number one concern being life safety, if there happens to be a victim that may still be inside that structure, because their body will be colder than the fire that's around them or near them, we'll be able to see them much more clearly on the thermal imaging camera and be able to be more effective going directly to that victim to affect their rescue. As a tool, how often is the thermal imaging camera available at fire scenes for firefighters to use? Over the years, technology has taken the tick from a very large handheld device to something similar to the size of this unit right here, equipped with a carabiner that you can actually even clip right onto your harness for your self-contained breathing apparatus and have that equipment available for use at the fire scene. There are even some units that are contained within the gauge set on the SCBA pack themselves. Because technology has made this equipment that much smaller, that much more cost effective for departments to own, we are blessed here in Knox County to have this tool available to us at every fire scene. And, and how is it that the thermal imaging camera works? I mean, does it, does it see fire? The TIC is a handheld battery operated device that once you turn it on away from your fire scene and it goes through its startup process, it will display on the screen a black and white image of what it is that you're looking at through the viewfinder. There is a green box that's your target zone that you're going to place on whatever it is you're trying to see the temperature of. And then it will then process that infrared information and then translate that color in that spectrum to a color pattern on the screen. Uh, whites being the colder temperatures all the way up through and include dark red, which would be temperatures above 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. The advantages of this is that we'll be able to see through things that we would not have been able to do with the naked eye, whether it be dense smoke, the dark of night, or walls. In the past, once a fire is under control, we would have to look for extensions to see if the fire went to places that we can't see. We would have normally in the past had to poke holes in walls to take a look and see what's going on inside. Now with the tick, we can use this technology to look inside the wall, inside that void cavity for heat as it would be related to a fire and then deal with that once we found it. And if we didn't, then there's no holes in the wall. It's a wonderful tool. That really was an amazing tool. It's going to be one of my favorites too. I want to thank Colin from the Rural Metro Fire Department for helping us with our video today. And folks, remember, in a fire emergency, make sure you have working smoke alarms in your home. Make sure your family practices their home fire escape plan twice a year. And always stay fire safe.